Hi, this is Susanna Sophia Kramer, the digital diva for the Ventura County Camera Club. So today we're going to talk about screen resolution in Photoshop. How many times have you gone up to the view menu, clicked on print size to see how your photo or text will look printed? only to realize on holding up a ruler that it isn't even close to the size of your document. Well, it's very frustrating, but I have the answer. It's as simple as dividing the display resolution of your monitor by the physical size of your monitor. Now, don't let your eyes glaze over. This is really simple. Here goes. We're going to go first to the Start menu control panel, display, and we're going to click on adjust resolution. Now we're not actually going to adjust the resolution, we're just going to find out what the native resolution is. So here I have my second monitor, which for some reason is considered the first, where I keep my panels, and this is my main monitor, and I see here that the resolution is 1920 by 1200. That's the native resolution. So I say, OK, that's fine. And I'm going to get out of there. And here we have it. Monitor resolution, 1920 by 1200. So the 1920 is what we're, what we're concerned is. That's the width of the monitor. Now, you can't go by whether you have a 24-inch monitor, as I do, or a 20-inch, whatever, because that's a diagonal uh, measurement. So now what you're going to do is actually measure the width of your monitor. You're going to take a ruler, or a tape measure probably, a ruler wouldn't be long enough, and measure your screen from side to side. And the width of my 24 inch monitor is 20 and a half inches. So I am now going to divide 1920, the width of the resolution of the width of my monitor, the, the number of pixels, I should say, in the width of my monitor by 20 and a half inches. The, physical width of my monitor and I come up with 93.65. Well, I've decided just to simplify it and use 94. I could do either one, but, but that is fine. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do is open up our preferences. In Windows, it's under Edit, Preferences, units and rulers. And up here you see the print, print resolution I have entered is 360 pixels per inch PPI and I have already entered the screen resolution of 94 that I came up with. Okay. Now at this point you need to... Uh, oh wait, Mac. On a Mac the preferences are under Photoshop preferences, units and rulers screen resolution, etc. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is close Photoshop. After entering that number, you're going to close Photoshop. And then you're going to reopen it. And the reason for that is none of the uh, changes you make in the preferences will will be active until you reopen Photoshop. So now you're going to reopen Photoshop and open a new image by going to Control Command N or you can go up to File New. Either one will bring you to this dialog. And at this dialog we're going to choose US Paper. Here are all the presets. And I'm going to choose a letter size. And I'm going to say OK. And then I'm going to go up to View, Print Size, 
I need to make that bigger so you can see the difference. Print size. And if I take a ruler to that, I will find that it measures exactly eight and a half inches. So, how cool is that? I'm so sorry, Mac users. You're going to have to find your screen resolution for yourselves, as I have no idea where you can find it. But I'm sure that's not too difficult. And this is your digital diva saying goodbye for now. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial.